everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and it is so windy outside right now. So windy, so I'm sure you'll be able to hear it. Um, anyway, this video is going to be a little unboxing. This is the Test Tube by New Beauty. It's a subscription service that I've always, always, always wanted to sign up for. Um, they've been around for years and years doing this one, and I feel like they were the first ones to do like a subscription service like this. Um, Anyway, I've always, always wanted it, and I think about it every now and then, and I always forget, but I signed up for this back in July because the tube was really good, but it sold out, so I wasn't able to get it. So September's is the first one I was able to get. This is a subscription service that only comes out every other month, so it's only six months out of the year, which I really like, especially because they're sending you all full-size items, and I feel like... I don't know, in a subscription box for things I didn't choose, I don't want to get one every single month, especially full sizes. I guess, I think that's why I'm not really a big fan of BoxyCharm, because they're sending you full size things that I didn't want in the first place. I don't know. Anyway, this is not a BoxyCharm video. It's a test tube uh, video. Uh, this is also by New Beauty. If you don't know New Beauty, they're a magazine and a website. I don't spend a lot of time on the website, but I really, really like their magazine a lot. I'm a huge magazine lover. I'm a big fan of print media in general. Um, so yeah, let's unbox it. This does cost $30 a month. By far, I think the most expensive subscription service that I have ever paid for. Um, but I did buy the full year of this back in July. And it's kind of like buying only five boxes. You get like one for free. Like that's how it kind of uh, evens out. Anyway, if you do end up getting this, it's $30 a month. I'll show you everything that was in this box as long as, as, as well as the retail value and uh, share with you my thoughts and stuff because I've used all of these things, at least not all of them. Some of them once. I did get this in the mail the day before yesterday. Um, and I love that they send it at the beginning of the month. It's my biggest bugaboo is when a subscription service comes at the end of the month and supposedly it's that month's box. I don't know. Just my thing. I wish they all came at the beginning of the month. Anyway, let's open it. It does come with a pamphlet talking about all of the products that are in the box. It'll give you obviously the retail price, where to buy it, um, the expert opinion, one of the people that have used its opinion, an editor's opinion, all that kind of stuff. So let's open it. So there are a couple things in here, but they're worth a few things just in the box that weren't in the tube. They just didn't fit. Uh, the first thing is this dry shampoo from Aquage or Aqua Age or something. This is, I guess I could have been prepared. Um, this retails for $24 and you could buy it at Ulta. It's a dry shampoo and style extending spray. I'm not a big dry shampoo user. Like this will literally probably last me two years. Um, I just never wear a hairstyle more than once. Anyway, for work, my hair is always pulled back. And then if I wash it, you know, I don't know. I just never like style my hair in that kind of way to benefit from a product like this. But I did end up using this this morning because my hair was so staticky and it was like flat on my head so i sprayed a bunch of this in my roots and it was really nice has a scent that doesn't linger which i like a lot of dry shampoos i hate because they all smell like gasoline this one had a nice really light scent to it it didn't have any white cast but i always find like the first few sprays of a dry shampoo never do it just feels like a cold liquid or something um but who knows maybe it has a white cast but for now it was fine you know i'll keep it for two years probably before i finish it up the next thing that was in the box is from After Spa. It's an exfoliating washcloth. This, I think, was $7, if I remember correctly. Yeah, bath and shower exfoliating washcloth. You can buy this at AfterSpaBeauty.com for $7. Um, I did use this last night. This is what it looks like. It's like um, a big old cloth. I guess you're supposed to be able to, like, scrub your back and stuff with it. Um, it's very, very exfoliating. Like, filling it with my hands here, it doesn't feel that rough. But I used this last night on my body and it was hardcore exfoliating. I like a body scrub that's really, really intense. And even for me, this was like a little much. But I feel like with continued use, it might soften up a little bit. But yeah, this was included and I like it. I'm happy to have it. Happy to try it. The next thing in the box was this mask from Maskology. It's a pucker up lip plumping kit. It comes with a little pouch of exfoliating scrub, then the lip mask, and also a lip plumping gloss. It's like a three-step mask, which I will definitely use. I've used a few lip masks in the past, and I don't really feel like they do anything. It's just kind of like a serum, or it's kind of like a little lip-shaped patch you put on. It goes like all the way out here, 
on your lips and it really just feels like a lip balm. Um, this is four bucks and you could get it at maskology.com. The next thing that was in here was this moisturizer from Good Science Beauty. It's the hydrating face cream. And this one was kind of a toss up between one out of four items that you could have got in your box. You could have received the purifying face cream, the brightening cream, the firming cream, or the hydrating cream. And I obviously got the hydrating cream. Um, it says that it retails for $48 and you could get it at goodsciencebeauty.com. This is what it looks like. I did use this last night. This is what it looks like. Super cute, really nice, like sciencey um, kind of packaging. Um, I used this last night and it felt a little thick to me for a day cream. It would have been a little much, but as a night cream, I liked it. It was really thick and moisturizing. It's not like the most hydrating face cream ever. I felt like it really benefited from the other stuff I already had put on and an oil and stuff. Um, you know, I'll definitely use it up. It was fine, but I only used it once. So, you know, I can't really give a whole review on it. And then the rest of the stuff was in the tube. So let's open it up. Those of you that get this, what do you do with this thing afterwards? Because it feels like it's just cardboard, so I'm assuming it would be something easily to recycle, but do you store stuff in here? What do you do with all your tubes? Um, so the first thing in here, I forgot to put it back in, was from Glow Skin Beauty. It's a matte lip crayon in the shade Rumor. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it or anything because I'm not going to use it. It's just a product I know I won't get any use out of and it won't benefit me to swatch it. But that is $22 from GlowSkinBeauty.com. Kind of looks like a NARS lip crayon. Um, anyway, inside the tube was the L'Occitane Face Cleansing Oil infused with Immortel or Immortal and Calendula Flower. I used this last night um, and it was really nice. You can get this at Ulta. It retails for $24. And um, yeah, I actually thought this was the like shower oil. That one's amazing. And that's what I thought it was. Like maybe they changed the packaging, um, but it's actually a cleansing oil. Um, I used this last night. It felt kind of like thick, like a thick kind of oil, not thick, but thicker than your average cleansing oil that almost feels like a serum, like really thin once you put water on it. Um, not in a bad way, just a different kind of viscosity. Is that the right word? Um, but yeah, really nice oil. I did rub it all over my eyes and everything and it didn't sting my eyes or burn my eyes or make them cloudy, which was interesting because I find every cleansing oil makes my eyes cloudy, but I feel like getting oil in your eyes is going to make it cloudy. I don't think it's the product's fault. Um, but anyway, it says you can use it on all skin types, even sensitive face, eyes, lips, and waterproof makeup. This removed everything really nicely last night. Um, definitely happy to have it and I will continue to use it. The next thing in here, of course, hand sanitizer from CO Bigelow, the antibacterial hand sanitizer. It has 70% um, alcohol in it. And this retails for, I want to say $7 again, $6, cobigelow.com. Um, and one thing about this, they always give you a little coupon code to use on the brand's website if you want to buy other things or replenish. I know this is a controversial opinion, but I hate hand sanitizer. I've never understood why people love it so much. I remember even in high school, everybody had Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers. It was like a thing. And uh, I hated it. I hate the smell of them. I, I'll use them in a pinch. I do use hand sanitizer at work all the time because I can't always just wash my hands quickly. Um, but I do prefer washing my hands to using this. Um, I'll use it, I guess. I just hate the way it smells and I hate using it before I eat. Like maybe I'm in the car or something and I want to eat the chips I just bought. So I'll squirt on some hand sanitizer, but I feel like I'm just tasting the smell of the hand sanitizer the whole time. I know this will get used up, especially if I take it to work, but it's not, not something I would have bought myself in a million years. And then the last thing in here is a micro needling intro kit from anti-age this is what it looks like this retails for 120 dollars i actually bought a micro needle over the summer from um sonia kashuk it was 10 bucks at target i've used it here and there but for the most part i forget to use it but i enjoy the weird sensation of rolling these little pokey needles all over your face um it does say to replace the needle every 10 uses which i found like crazy but i guess if you're putting these little needles in your face, you should replace it often. I also have a little tiny bottle that I have with alcohol that I spray on it before and after use. And I like it. I think it's a nice, fun thing, but I don't think I'm using it often enough to warrant any results. Honestly, I've probably used it five times 
in the last like four months that I've had it. Um, but anyway, this is a really nice fancy one from this brand Anti-Age. It also comes with some solution in it that has human bone marrow stem cell growth factors in it. So I guess that's supposed to be something amazing for your skin. It also has hyaluronic acid to hydrate and smooth your skin, making the ultimate non-invasive treatment. So yeah, that's this. I will use this and I don't know. I was gonna say report back, but I probably won't uh, or I'll forget. But yeah, this was included in the box. So that is everything. I don't have a value. Like I didn't add everything up and say like, it has this value. Because to me, I think the value of a subscription box is more than just monetary. Like I was never gonna buy any of this stuff. So to me, yeah, I guess this cleansing oil and maybe the, the hand sanitizer together like paid for the box. But I don't, I wasn't gonna buy these things. So it's like the value to me doesn't really matter. Um, I could see if maybe you were gonna buy this already and you're on this friend's website and you're like, oh my God, I want that micro needle for $120 and you happen to see that it was gonna be in this subscription box, you bought this, that would be a great value because you were already gonna buy this and you happen to get all this other stuff included as well as getting this at a really good price. Um, so I could see the value working if you were already gonna buy these items. Like if you were already gonna buy this moisturizer, yeah, the value of this is paid for itself. But I wasn't gonna buy these things, so the value to me is like, not monetary it's just stuff that i'm like dang i'm really happy to have this i'll definitely use all these items does that make any sense anyway um if you're interested in getting this box i'll leave the website down below where you can sign up because as far as i know when you sign up you'll get september's box as long as it's not sold out so if you're interested in getting any of these items you want to try this micro needle at a really good price um obviously not sponsored affiliate or anything like that i wish but no it's not but i'll leave it down below in case you want to check it out Anyway, that is it. Do any of you guys get the test tube? Let me know what you think. Um, are all the boxes this good? Because as far as I've seen, like the previous ones, they all seem to be pretty good products. And I love that it's all skincare stuff and not makeup because I have another subscription service that I like getting makeup in. And this one, I like that it's skincare, elevated skincare that I've never heard of. I don't know. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you later in another one. Goodbye.